everyone, teacher message here. How to how to survive in a toxic boss? A lot of a lot of you guys on your jobs right now, especially right now. A lot of you guys will be on your jobs and, and things right now. And um, you know, jobs are very well hard and difficult to get right now. So you guys have to be careful. And this is, is a good um situation here to help you guys get out of situations where you can survive and some of the um, tips and tricks that in order to survive when dealing with an evil mean boss you know sometimes you have that type of boss who want to ride you guys want to provoke you uh, you have your family to feed you have mouths to feed and different things like that and this boss can be male or female trying to, to get you to walk off the job um want you to make mistakes they're trying to put fear in you um they're sending up your pressure your anxiety and all the different things like that so you have to, you cannot sit down and expect in this day and age in order for you that you think that people is going to be nice in this world the world is different now especially after covid we live in a different world people are brutal people are mean um even your co-workers this tips here is good for like if you have an evil boss or you have um, co-workers who's trying to make confusion and different things like that, and you want to bring peace and you want things to level out, um, you guys will need to go to your Bible, um, go to the book of Psalms, because as I say, a lot of things I can show you guys here, but I'm not going to show you guys because a lot of um, content stealers and different things like that, and other people will go on, on bigger platforms and take credit um, for our work, like if it's their work, you understand what I'm saying? So that's why I'll give you guys little tips from the Bible and different things like that. Easy stuff that I'm um, thinking, but I'm not giving you guys nothing, no real um, stuff. No, you understand what I'm saying? That's not for the public. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so one of the things you guys will want to do, go to the book of Psalms. Um, you want to say Psalm 1. Make sure and say, Psalm, say the Psalms before you go to work. Make sure and cleanse yourself. Um, use some Florida water. Um, in a bucket with some, um, you know, you know, put like three, four drops of Florida water in a bucket, get a bowl to dip and, and cleanse yourself and different things like that. You guys will want to use sage or palo santo, make sure and clear energy until some of you guys' energy might be dusty, crusty. People can't notice you guys have a disconnect. So sometimes people can't stand you, different things like that. You guys could be having sex with the wrong people, um, different things like that. Sometimes you person against some sour dick or is a, um, you know, you know, woman against some sour dick or a man against some sour puss. So, therefore, now, all that can be messing you up, too. You guys have to keep your energy clean. A lot of you guys' aura just be looking all dull, funny looking, um, looking dirty looking. People cannot stand you guys and things like that. So, this is one of the tips that you want to do. So, you go to your Bible, go to the, um, in the Old Testament, the book of Psalm. You want to say Psalm 1, 7, 28, and 47. So, say Psalm 1, 7, 28, and 47. Call your boss name or call your co-worker name who's always giving you problems and different things like that. That, you have to see that for the next nine days. That will calm down everything. That will get everything under control. If you do exactly what it is I tell you to do, clean up your aura and different things like that. Um, try this for the next nine days. If this do not work, you'll want to go to the website, thespiritualfixer.com, and you will need to call in the Calvary so that we can rectify this problem and take care of that. We do this every week with a lot of different people. Um, a lot of times we do this all the time, and we change things around. It doesn't matter what um, color, creed, race is. As long as you have your resources, you come humble, um, and someone is bullying you on your job, and you're scared, you feel like you might lose your job, You feel because right now jobs are hard to come by. I told you guys this. Having a job in this country is 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 having a privilege is you understand it's a privilege of a job just now is is a privilege to go out to get to, to go out to a fancy restaurant you know things are going back like the thing a lot of you guys are not prepared i told you guys straight up next three five years a loaf of bread is going to be like 20 20 to 25 dollars for a loaf of bread eggs will be 20 to um to 30 dollars a dozen eggs you guys are not paying attention how you guys expect us to, to survive in the next five years from now if you're not putting certain things in place? You guys have to be making, if you're making 100000 right now, you need to be making 150 or try to 160, 175, or even 200000 double. Because by the time 
by the time if you're making 200,000 and you live in a state that is tax area real heavy, like New York or California or something like that, that is only basically 100,000. But now if you live in like in Texas, Florida, which is no state taxes, maybe Wyoming, maybe Vegas, I think maybe have new, uh, no state taxes, your money might stretch a little long way. But they might catch you uh, in, in different things, like property taxes, different things like that. So you have to be in a state where you know your taxes could stretch out and, and different things, and if you have business and different things like that. So again, guys, man, these are the tips. Psalm 1, 7, 28, 47. Call your boss name. Call your, um, your enemy names, um, your co-workers who give given you problems and stuff like that. If this do not work, call in the Calvary. Go to the spiritualfixer.com. And um and book your time. That's it. All right. No more questions. No, no. That's it. You know what I mean? All right. I give you guys some of the tips um for surviving a toxic boss, co-workers, and different things like that. I hope this makes sense. Be grateful. Be thankful. That's it. Um, I, I wish you guys all the best. Okay. I hope this works. If it do not work, you know what to do. That's it. All right. That's the best I can do for you guys. All right. You guys at least are still giving you guys little tips and stuff like that. I can't go into the real recipe. It's not for the public. Okay. Bye.